Hey guys, so I'm starting off by carving out my eyebrows. I'm using a NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Palette in Deep. And I'm just getting one of the brighter shades. I like to carve out my eyebrows first. I don't know why, but that's what I do. And then I like to go back in with my eyebrow powder. I'm using the ColourPop black and brown powder and then I was well, really a gel it's more of a gel and then I'm just filling it in like a coloring book once I do all that I'm just wiping off all the excess concealer <laughs> Now I'm adding my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the color Deep 78 Neutral. Next to brighten up my under eye area, I'm adding a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it's in the color Deep. And I'm going to use a wet beauty blender, well it's not a beauty blender, it's a Real Technique sponge. And I'm going to use a wet one so that I can blend it all out. Now to contour, I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Camouflage Stick in the color 8003. <laughs> To set my under eye area, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Now I'm going to use the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer as an eyeshadow. I just slightly brush it over my eyelids just to give myself a little color. I have an eyelash extension, so I'm just brushing those up. I'm not going to add any mascara or anything to them. Now I'm using a liquid eyeliner to line my top lid. I don't know the brand, y'all. Sorry, but any liquid eyeliner will do. I'm just using the pencil kind that makes it easier for me. And on my bottom lashes, I'm using an Urban Decay 24-hour glide-on eye pencil. Now I'm setting my entire face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. To set my contour, I'm going to go back in with the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer. I'm just adding a little bit of lip gloss. This is usually all I put on my lips, y'all. And I highlighted my face with the Luna Baked Highlighter. Next, I'm adding my MAC Raisin Blush. I added that same highlighter to my tear ducts to give my eyes a little pop. Then I finished it all off by using my NYX Matte Setting Spray. Moving on to my hair, I did make my Nadula hair into a wig and I did color it. If you guys didn't see my first video, go ahead and check it out. I have a link above in the card. So I'm just starting off by brushing out my wig. To give you guys some information about this hair, this is Nadula hair and this is their Brazilian straight hair. I have 
two 24 inch bundles, two 22 inch bundles, and a 20 inch closure. And I did color this hair using the L'Oreal High Color in the colors red and magenta. I'm using my Got To Be Free spray to help lay the closure down. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit in the front, then I'm going to use my blow dryer on cool, and then I'm going to just stick the closure down. And I use my comb to make sure that everything is nice and flat. And I will go back in with my blow dryer just to make sure that it dries and everything is in place. Now I'm gonna quickly run my flat iron over the hair. It was already straight, so I didn't have to like do the whole straightening process. I just wanted to make it a little bit straighter by adding some heat to it. So I've been wearing Nadula hair for years now, and I can say that their hair is quality. Every single time I've worn the hair, I've been absolutely in love with it. I've tried their curly hair, I've tried their body wave hair, I've tried their straight hair, and every texture I absolutely love. It does shed, but it's minimum shedding. It's not anything ridiculous. It doesn't tangle at all. It has a nice, beautiful luster, and it makes the hair look healthy. It has the right amount of shine, and I think it's gorgeous hair every time i have this hair and i always get tons of compliments so i would definitely recommend and do the hair to you guys so if you guys want to check it out i will have a link down below in the description box and that concludes the video as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye